everybody, John at IPT Trans. Today we're going to be removing and replacing a valve body in a BMW ZF5 HP24. After draining the pan, the first thing you want to do is remove this clip from the electrical connector. And then you're going to be able to push this in. After removing the pan, you're going to want to take the sensor off which are two T27 bolts. Now on this valve body, there's a bunch of bolts that are all T27. Some of them are a larger head on the bolt, so those are the only ones you want to take out. The ones with the smaller heads, you do not want to take out. There's also several short T27 bolts. Just two in the front and three in the back. Now you're going to also have an input speed sensor and an output speed sensor. Which are also T27s. You're going to need to take those out. Now body lifts straight up and out. Underneath you just want to make sure you have two uh, true arc snap rings that, that hold the spring in and a, a little rubber seal to uh, seal the oil pressure against the drum. Just make sure those didn't move out of the way or anything like that. Alright, on the way back in, the first thing you're going to need to do is as you're putting the valve body in, you want to engage the electrical connector. And you'll see in the case there's a slotted area. That slotted area needs to correspond with this slotted protrusion on the plug. Now when that's all lined up and, and pushed through, you're going to have to push it the rest of the way through with a screwdriver and then you can put your clip back on. Now, when you're putting the valve body down, it's real important to engage this manual valve into the protrusion on the rooster comb. Right? If you don't do this, it's not going to move. Now, once that's together, you can check it by moving the linkage and making sure that the manual valve moves when, whenever you do so. Start with the short bolts. Now the rest of the bolts are warm. Now you're going to need to put your two speed sensors in. One in the back engages into this hole. And one in the front engages here. Now you're going to have two brackets that hold these in. And two different bolt sizes. It's going to be a bracket with a small hole and a small bolt, and that's going to be for the front or input speed sensor. And in the rear, 
you're going to have a bracket with a larger hole and a larger bolt, and that's going to be for the output speed sensor. Now, if you just want to take a look real quick, I'm going to leave these all sticking up, and you can see exactly which bolts you're going to need to take out to, to remove this valve body. Now we're going to take these bolts up most of the way. At that point, we're going to torque them all down to 72 inch-pounds. After they're all torqued, we put the filter on. Make sure the O-ring on the filter is lubed up correctly. And just gently put it on. Two more T27 bolts. And you're probably not going to need to torque those. Pan gasket. Pan. And that's it. That's all there is to it.